How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Shed School and today I want to walk you through two different products we use to finish out the walls of our storage sheds. First up is the blue one here which is the LP Smart Side and the second one would be the green board which is a zip board. Now each of these kind of shine in different applications so it's important to know when should you be using these and why. So let's jump into it. So when we use the LP Smart Siding is for any standard storage shed. It's by far our favorite product. It's kind of an all-in-one. It's gonna be the sheathing. It's gonna be that structural skin of your storage shed. And also it's gonna be really your siding. It comes primed, it has this texture here with a little caulk and paint, your exterior is done. So it's a very efficient way to both get your sheathing and siding in one product. But it's not ideal for what I am converting this shed to. So it started off as a storage shed, a 12 by 16 modern storage shed, a very nice shed, but I wanna condition the space now. I wanna heat and cool it and turn it into the office. We've already installed our man door here and we're converting through to make it into a really nice yard office but the smart siding is not ideal for that. It's not ideal for me to insulate the inside because at the top of each of these eight foot boards, you would have some Z flashing, which has all sorts of passages for air to flow right through. And it's just not ideal for that type of application. That's why I'm going over top of it with zip board. Now, if I was starting fresh, the green zip board would just go right on my framing and then it gives me my sheathing but it does not give me my final wall surface. I need some type of siding product and I'm gonna do some LP lap siding on this, but what it does do, it gives me a sealed moisture barrier with the combination of the zip tape. And you can see those vertical black zip tape lines there where it really seals up your seams and seals up your nail holes. So we have both the products side by side. Obviously they're gonna both come in four by eight sheets. And then you have your LP, this is the natural color. Obviously this wall here was painted and this is gonna be a prime surface. So really you hang that up, you get it nailed in place and you have a prime surface already. And that's why we say you caulk your nail holes and your seams and then you're going to paint and that's it. So you have your sheathing, you have your siding, everything ready to go. So that is gonna be your fastest option and by far what we prefer for storage shed. It's a good balance of cost and quality. And your nailing pattern on both these are the same. On the seams, you're gonna be recommended to every six inches and then internally hitting your studs, you're gonna be on 12 inches. Now the nails are different. So pretty big difference between the manufacturers and what they call out. For the LP, I'm just using a siding nail here. It's an inch and three quarters. And you don't have to have a coil nailer like this. It makes it go so much faster, but just know you need an exterior rated siding nailer. Do not use roof nails, that is different. It would be a siding nailer. Inch and three quarters is what I go with. And it works really well for the LP smart side. Now for the zip, quite a bit different. You're gonna go with more of a framing setup here. I'm using my cordless 30 degree. If you had a 21 degree pneumatic or just hammer and nails, you're looking at more like an 8D exterior rated. And this one is a three inch nail. Just know on both of these products, you will have to kind of dial in your nail gun because you want to have a nice secure nail, but you do not want to over sink it, especially on the zip system, because then that compromises this moisture barrier here. Now, if you're on your seams, that's okay because you're gonna tape over that and that'll be sealed up. But interior, you actually don't put tape over the nail holes on the inside. So you actually just want the nails to be flush with that surface and not sunken past the surface or you're actually getting penetrations to the moisture barrier on the zip system and some of the vantage of that system. Now, I'm interested to get your feedback. Have you guys used anything different that you prefer? LP Smart Siding is working great for us on storage sheds and Zipboard is a really nice product to get that nice moisture barrier on the outside of any of your finished spaces. And don't forget, we have a couple different communities focused specifically on storage sheds building out. This QR code here or the link in the description will take you over to the Everyday Shed School group. That is a community, a monthly Q&A section, and additional courses to help you with DIY shed building to make sure you can save thousands of dollars and get the shed that you want building it yourself. Or if you wanna go a lot deeper and actually look at shed building as a side hustle or a future full-time business, 
check out this QR code right here, and that will take you over to the Shed School School community. Now that has weekly Q&A sessions where we're all coming together and helping grow our businesses together, where we're repeatedly making more than $1,000 a day building simple, solid, standard sheds where we will give you everything you need to start that business in your own area. Now, if you want a tangible example, you can check out this video right here. I'll walk you through how much we sold that shed for, how much were all of our costs, and what was that resulting profit for how much time we put into it. So thanks for joining me on this video, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.